Welcome back to Let's Play Discworld. We just finished talking with this nice gentleman to our. What is going on? So weird. Okay. Well, let's see what they're eating, shall we? Carcass. Delicious. Ah, a swamp dragon, if my eyes don't deceive me. I thought these things were filled with explosive gas. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> uh, we've got some food. That doesn't work. Oops. Ah, let's see. Wildebeest baked in a poodle's eye sauce. Newt's liver pate with pickles and cream. Ex senior angler legs in garlic butter. I do hope that door gives a clear run to the latrine. <laughs> this guy sounds familiar. Where have I heard him before? Let's, uh, let's speak with the Dean. Yet another bearded old wizard. Let's have a talk, shall we? So look, as an aged wizard, I mean, you know, as someone who's climbed to the very depths, is there any advice you feel you might like to pass on? I mean, a few words of guidance, perhaps to one who hopes to follow in your pointy footsteps. Ah, yes. Well, young fellow in the wallpaper, well, I'd say that of all lessons in life, always learn to expect the unexpected. Hmm. But if I expect it, then it isn't unexpected. Okay. Well, by definition, it can't be unexpected if it actually is expected. Right, That's a good point. Well spotted. In which case, my advice to you is to always expect the expected. Is that clear? I expect so. <laughs> Let's pester him a little. So you're all faculty heads? The giants of wizardry? This is it? This is as good as life gets? Contemplating promotion? No, I'm contemplating a change of career. Um, if I haven't made it clear before, I do like to explore the options. Uh, you know, these people worked hard making these games. So, I like, I like to explore a bit, you know, see if there's some secret stuff, go through as many uh, dialogues as possible without, you know, messing with the, uh, you know, the flow of the story too much. Um, for example, if I was playing Mass Effect, I would take my time to explore the Citadel and uh, talk with as many NPCs as I can, because I like learning stuff. I like understanding the world that I am, you know, playing in. And in a point-and-click adventure game, you get a lot more of that. So let's ask the Dean a question. Listen, one thing I've always meant to ask, these, uh, these dresses we wear, are they, um, are they strictly necessary? Okay. The robes, lad, are symbolic of our dedication. You see, this is not so much a calling, a, a profession, as a condition of mind. By wearing long robes, we imply a somnambulistic state. An attitude in which we walk dreamily through this world with our minds occupied by higher things. Higher? Like, say, as high as this hat? Well, the hat, too. Its height employs loftiness of thoughts. Or it might imply that we should have let our mothers keep on dressing us. What's more, it keeps young whippersnappers like you from running off. Eh? Would you want to walk the streets looking like a refugee from a somewhat suspicious pencil factory? Point taken. <laughs> oh, this, oh, this game is so sarcastic and filled with humor. I'm actually a big fan of British humor. Uh, rinse, rinse, say something mean. Is this all you do all day? Just sit and make a public nuisance of yourself? I'm reserving my powers. What powers? Well, for a start, 
I can read your mind. Really? What do you say? Not much. You must have the big print version. Ouch. Well, excuse me, I think there's someone calling me. I still have no idea what's going on there. Moving over? Oh, hey. We got more talking to happen. Alright, yeah, let's talk to the Bursar. So, you're the Bursar. What does a Bursar do exactly? Well, it's a very important job. Accounts, expenditure, occasional bouts of irrationality, the assessment of grants. Well, it, it sounds a bit... Well, boring, doesn't it? That's the job's main attraction, my surgical sock. These tenors are for life. So, since wizards are naturally extremely long-lived, that means the only way to get promoted is to assassinate your superiors. They've been popping off like mayflies around here for some seasons. <laughs> Sometimes we've got, wait for it, more wazards than wizards. <laughs> They're in no danger from me. I never really Ouch. thought about promotion. Wazards, you see? Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, well. My post is safe, though. Who wants to claw their way up to the top only to become an accountant in a silly hat? Mark my words, folding trouser press. Survival is all a matter of identifying your proper niche. Preferably a niche well removed from anything anyone else finds desirable. <laughs> a wizard? Really? Ugh. Rinse, when say something mean about wizard. So you're the, uh... The bear, sir. Oh, thank heavens. I'd hate to have forgotten the name of someone useful. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Look, you're the bursar, aren't you? That's right. I do the finances, books and things, and I'm quite totally insane, you know. Any calculations you need, I'm your giant frog. But that's just accounting. Surely to hold a major position in a wizard's university, you must be able to perform magic. After all, that's what the place is all about. Magic is all very well, young sink disposal unit, but mathematics is the more powerful art. Oh, come sink on. Sink disposal unit? You don't believe me? Very well, Mr. So-called scented furniture polish. Care to watch while I make your grant disappear? <laughs> there you go. Right, well, don't be a stranger. Cheers. Oh, you're doing that. Okay. What else there? Oh, yeah, it's someone over there. That's, uh, look, a staff. Hmm. Long, wooden, clearly quite magical. Here! It's got a knob on the end. Whoops. I want the staff. Staff. Get, get out of the way. Oh, there are Wendell Poons. Hey! A girl. What's a girl doing in here? I'm not a girl. Why are you, why are you wearing a dress? It's a wizard's robe, not a dress. I knew a girl's a dress once. Splendid lass. Very good at pickling. Yes, very good at pickling eels. What? <laughs> uh, this is going to be pretty fruitless, isn't it? Well, I once knew a girl too, of course. Of course? Well, why are you of course? A young fellow like you, you ought to be out and about, exploring a world of adventure. Wine, women, and pickles. Look, I am out and about. Well, you can't be too good at it if you're already off course, young air freshener. Look, no one's off course. I just use the phrase as a pleasantry, a manner of address. <laughs> Pickling? Oh, how fascinating. Pickled? Who's pickled? No one's pickled. You started it. I don't even like pickles. What? Oh, they were wonderful pickles. How dare you cast me in, 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 in,
What were we talking about again? Um, pickles? How old is this guy? <laughs> what? what? What do you mean? Well, the eels were pickled, weren't they? What? Pickled elves? Damn their ears. I told them to lock that liquor cupboard. Go on, boy, get after them. No, no, pickles, not pickled. Pickles? Or try the kitchen. Get out. Stop wasting my time. Well. So, what happened? Nothing. Nothing happened. That's just the point. Now young twerps like you think they can you come in here, ravish our women and, and, and steal all our pickles. Steal? Now do I look like a thief? My stick. Uh, they all want my magic stick. When, when you can't have it. So be off with you, you, you dastardly overcleaner. No, no, look. I don't want your wretched stick. So, <laughs> so it's the pickles you're after then, is it? You devilish young trouser. Well, I'm on to you, you know. I'm on to you, you young bookcase. <laughs> this is not the problem that I wanted to address. Look, I just want to find somebody who can talk a little sense. Sense? Perfumes? You're not going to find no, that here, Rince Wind. No, no, sir, I won't. Dallying with women folk on the premises is against the rules. Otherwise, we'd, we'd, we'd all be doing it. You young bathroom, I have you defrocked for this. Look, I haven't done a thing, honestly. What? Well, well uh, how can you be a man of the world if you never sample the finer things in life? Women, wizard staves, pickles. Well, if I go and do that, you said you'd defrock me. It won't do, it just won't do you. Young tweezers like you coming in here and taking off their frocks. I, I won't stand for it. I, 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 this city is getting into, into a fine old pickle. Oh, please don't get started on the pickles again. Pickles? Don't eat pickles if you're wearing a dress. You'll stain the hem. Why are you wearing a dress? <laughs> This seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. This seems like a good cue to wait for the next video. See you then.